from Pete Parsons. This morning, I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult changes we've ever had to make as a studio. Due to rising costs of development and industry shifts, as well as enduring economic conditions, it has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. That means beginning today, 220 of our roles will be eliminated. Good Lord. Representing 17% of our studio's workforce. Like, how does this happen though? These actions will affect every level of the company, including most of our executive and senior leader roles. Today is a difficult and painful day, especially for our departing colleagues, all of which have made important and valuable contributions to Bungie. Our goal is to support them with the utmost care and respect. For everyone affected by this job reduction, we will be offering a generous exit package, including severance, bonus, and health coverage. I mean, that's better than nothing, but it still sucks, right? I, I wonder what that exit package, like the numeric details are, like how much are they getting? Good Lord. I realize all of this is hard news, especially following the success we've seen with the final shape. But as we've navigated the broader economic realities over the last year and after exhausting all other mitigation options, this has become a necessary decision to refocus our studio and our business with more realistic goals and viable financials. So, good Lord, I, I'll i keep reading. I'm like starving for more information. What has led them to this decision? Like, are they hemorrhaging money? Like, was Final Shape not a gigantic financial success? I don't know. We are committing to two other major changes today that we believe will support our focus, leverage Sony's strengths and create new opportunities for Bungie talent. First, we are deepening our integration with, oh God, Sony Interactive Entertainment, working to integrate 155 of our roles, roughly 12% 12 into SIE over the next few quarters. SIE, Sony Interactive Entertainment, has worked tirely with us to identify roles for as many of our people as possible, enabling us together to save a great deal of talent that would otherwise have been affected by the reduction in force. Second, we are working with PlayStation Studios leadership to spin out one of our incubation projects, an action game set in a brand new science fantasy universe to form a new studio within PlayStation Studios to continue its promising development. This will be a time of tremendous change for our studio. Let's unpack how we ended up in this position. Yes, please. It's important to understand how we got here. For over five years, it has been our goal to ship games in three enduring global franchises. To realize that ambition, we set up several incubation projects, each seeded with senior development leaders from our existing teams. We eventually realized that this model stretched our talent too thin too quickly. It also forced our studio support structure to scale to a larger level than we could realistically support given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. Additionally, in 2023, our rapid expansion ran headlong into a broad economic slowdown, a sharp downturn in the games industry, our quality miss with D2 Lightfall. Quality miss? Oh, quality miss, like, okay. <laughs> I thought it was like, our quality miss, like they missed the quality that they were hoping to achieve with Lightfall. And the need to give both the final shape and marathon the time needed to ensure both projects deliver at the quality our players expect and deserve. We were overly ambitious. Our financial safety margins were subsequently exceeded and we began running in the red. After this new trajectory became clear, we knew we had to change our course and speed and we did everything we could to avoid today's outcome. Jesus. I really wonder who's been affected by this. Even with exhaustive efforts undertaken across our leadership and product teams to resolve our financial challenges, these steps were simply not enough. 
As a result, today we must say goodbye to incredible talent, colleagues, and friends. This will be a challenging time at Bungie and we'll need to help our team navigate these changes in the weeks and months ahead. This will be a hard week, and we know that our team will need time to process, to ask questions, and to absorb the news Today and over the next several weeks, we will host team meetings and town halls, team breakout sessions, and private individual sessions to ensure we are keeping our communication open and transparent. Bungie will continue to make great games. We still have over 850 team members building Destiny and Marathon, and we will continue to build amazing experiences that exceed our players' expectations. There will be a time to talk about our goals and projects, but today is not that day. Today, our focus is on supporting our people from Pete. Jesus, dude. I feel like that gave some information, but... Damn, they must have really gone into the red in order to have to lay off 17% of the studio workforce? How hard do you go into the red where you have to do 220 people eliminated? Dude, that sucks. I genuinely don't know what else to say other than that fucking sucks. Where do you even go from here? What positions have been eliminated? I There's going to be a lot of articles written today. I'm going to read as many as I can. This completely changes the direction on a lot of things. It's not good. The more I think about it, it's like, look. There's clearly more wrong going on here, right? Like this, something, there's a problem that needs to be fixed. This should not be happening two times in one year. Would you agree with me on that? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Inexcusable. Industry leading talent being lost yet again. I completely agree. Accountability falling upon the workers who have pushed the needle to deliver for our community time and time again. Please maintain focus on those who have lost their position and income. Offer help where you can. Okay, I'm glad Dylan hasn't been affected by this, but yeah, he's right. It's it's fucking inexcusable. Like, they need to bring in some kind of, some person who's like an expert in, in, in making sure that this company can manage financial expectations. Like, here's the goal. Here's how we realistically hit that goal. Because this is bad for everybody. This is bad for primarily the people getting laid off, right? Because now they're fucked. You know what I mean? Now they have to look for future employment. This person found out they were laid off from the fucking article that Bungie just published. That is a really tacky way for somebody to find out that they've been fucking laid off. That is ridiculous. That Come on. we Come on with this fucking shit, Pete. Are you kidding me? Dude, we... It can't be like this. It can't be like this. It's like, okay, look, again, to repeat what I was saying earlier, Lightfall very clearly missed the mark. Final Shape delivered pretty fucking hard. You can't go from delivering really hard to being like, oh, we're laying off 17% of the studio. That doesn't make sense. We, we have to bring in people to better manage the situation because clearly... Something at the top of the pyramid is askew. It's clearly wrong if, if we're doing it like this, right? It, like c very clear that restructuring needs to happen to some degree. This can't happen two times in one year. It's fucking crazy. That, like there's, there's mismanaging going on, especially like right after you're delivering a piece of content that is like, Literally the Avengers endgame level content that we, the community, have been asking for for a long time. Final Shape delivered. Good lord. We can't be doing this. Gonna be reading articles all day. Can't be fucking doing this. God damn it. God damn it. Something's gotta give.